Hey, I'm John Smith with Grape City Power Tools. Join me as we get started using Active Reports. Today, we'll look at how to use Active Reports in a Windows Forms application. We'll start by adding the Active Reports tools to the toolbox, and then we'll add an Active Report to the project, bind it to data, create a basic layout, and display the report in a Windows Form using the viewer control. First, let's start by creating a new Windows Forms application project in Visual Studio. Once the project is loaded, the Active Reports components will need to be added to the toolbox. We'll create a new tab in the toolbox and name it Active Reports 6 Components. Right-click in this tab and select Choose Items. When the dialog opens, be sure that the .NET Framework Components tab is selected and set the filter to Active Reports. Check the boxes next to Designer, HTML Export, PDF Export, Report Explorer, RTF Export, Text Export, TIFF Export, Toolbox, Viewer, Web Viewer, and XLS Export. Then click OK. Next, resize the form and add the Active Report 6 Viewer, then set its dock property to Fill. Now the active report can be added to the project via the Add New Item dialog. Let's select the Active Report 6 code based file and set its name to Customer Phone List. Now, we'll bind the report to data. Click on the Data Source icon in the Detail band, build the connection string, and then enter the SQL query. If the Report Explorer is not already open, clicking on the Report Explorer icon in the Active Report 6 toolbar will display this window. From here, we'll expand the fields and bound nodes. This will allow the dragging and dropping of bound fields to help us design the report. As the name of the report suggests, we'll be creating a customer phone list which we will group by country. Drag the company name and phone fields to the detail section, align and size the fields accordingly, and then set the detail section's can shrink property to true. Resize the page header section and add a label that reads as customer phone list. To add page numbers to the page footer, we'll drag a report info control to that section and choose the page, page number of page total format string. To group the customer phone list by country, right click in the designer and select insert group header footer. Select the new group header section and set its data field property to country. Drag and drop the country field from the report explorer to the group header section and format as desired. Now, let's preview the report and ensure the data is formatted as expected. Open the code behind of the form which is hosting the viewer control and add three simple lines of code to display the report at runtime. Finally, we'll select Start Debugging from the Debug menu to see the result. As you can see, the data is formatted exactly as we expected. Using Active Reports in a Windows Forms application is easy, but there's so much more available to you with this incredible tool. Don't miss our other videos to help you learn even more about the power of Active Reports from Grape City Power Tools. For free trial version downloads of Active Reports products, or to learn about other helpful power tools from Grape City, go to gcpowertools.com. Follow Grape City on Twitter and Facebook and be sure to check out more Grape City videos to see what you're missing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and be the first to watch our new videos. I'm John Smith, and thanks for watching and choosing Grape City, the world's best-selling developer components.